Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode. Today we are going to be starting a hardcore world. I have some big plans for this world if we can survive the first few <laughs> the first few episodes. Um, so yeah, make sure to stick around. I hope this world lasts a few thousand days at least and I want to build some really cool stuff with some big mega bases in connected cities, fantasy builds. So let's get right into today's episode where... We'll just start off with the basics and probably build our first starter house. Okay, here we are in the world and I guess we should start off by getting some wood. Okay, now that we've gotten some wooden tools, we can get our first stone tools as well. And with that, I'll place my crafting table here so I know where my spawn chunks are in case I ever want to come back. Let's grab some bamboo and let's head off to try and find a village. Okay, I've been running for a while. If you look at the map, we've gone all the way around here, but um, I've gotten some food, but I would like to cook it before I eat it. So let's find some coal, and just as we say that, some coal appears. So that's nice. I'll take all of this. And just further down the cave, we've also got some iron here, so that's nice. Okay, let's make a shield and a pickaxe okay and it has just become night so we get to sleep on the first day of our hardcore world and now let's continue the search for a village and look at that not a village but a very nice looking mountain here Wow, this is a pretty nice little area we've got going here. It would be a lot better if all these trees uh, weren't here. Then we could build like a valley coming down and oh my goodness it continues over there too. I might go exploring over there because there's also a cherry blossom biome so we could build a cool base. Um, but oh my goodness there's so much to explore every direction. Okay, so I've upped my chunks a ton to see what the area is looking like. We've spotted a village down there and it continues, if I can go up here, going on quite a while back here. So what I've thought of is I've planned a pretty gigantic mega base, which I've been working on for about the last 30 hours just designing it. Um, most of it will be designed and built in, sort of in hardcore, but because it's so big I have to do the logistics and figuring out how it will all fit together in creative. Um, so yeah, but I'm thinking we have this big mega base suspended in the sky about here and we terraform all the like, mountains coming up to it and then the rest of this area will be home to the giant city of medieval villages and stuff like that that will be around it. So I'm excited to build this but um, I won't spoil too much of that for now since it is just the first episode. So let's go down to this village here and start making our starter house. Okay, let's grab some hay bales. Let's also get some brewing stands from these churches. Some different types of crops. Okay, so I've decided to settle down on this mountain here near the village. Um, I'm just clearing out this little piece of land here and then we can start planning our starter house. Um, in the future we could always bring some villagers up here if we wanted to. And then I'll probably make a cow farm and some different crop farms around the area. I'll clear out these trees and make some fences around, which will be nice. And our third night sleeping, where our starter house will go.
Okay, so it's been a little while. I've gotten sheep in a pen and some cows over here and I've cleared out this area nicely. I just have to remove a bit more grass and we can start work on our starter house. Okay, so I've pretty much finished the layout of the walls now, except for a bit of the roof. So it looks a bit wonky, but trust me, it'll work out. I don't exactly know what blocks we're going to be using yet. Probably just a simple palette with some detail blocks as well. Um, so yeah, I guess we had better get started on collecting some materials. Okay, so I kind of ran out of spruce wood along the back here. I haven't finished that up. That will be the trim for the house. And I'm currently waiting on this spruce tree to grow, but this is what it will sort of look like. So it's like a little base to the house and it sort of, it's sort of raises it up and gives it a bit of extra height. Um, I'm going to keep on collecting some materials and I shall see you when we're ready to finish the house. Okay, so it's been a little while and I've collected a few more materials which we'll use to build up the walls here. So let's get straight into some more building. Okay, so it's been a little while and other than this section here that I just noticed, the walls are now complete. So we have three entrances, the main one at the front and this one at the back, as well as the side one that we just came through. We've got a bit of windows over here. Oops. This is our window area. We could put, I don't know, a library or something there. 
And then this is the main entrance at the front of the build, so that's looking pretty nice. Um, so yeah, the next step is finishing off the roofs, which is probably going to be the hardest part, but so far I think it's looking decent other than a few little missing patches that I haven't detailed. So let's get straight into collecting some resources for the roof. Okay, so it's been a little while and as you can see I have finished the roof on the house and I think it's looking pretty good. This is one of my favourite angles of the house, I like the little round window I put there. And we also finished the roof around the front. Here we go, it's looking good and I don't know why I put a painting there but I did. And so I also got a little bit carried away, for some reason I just went and built the entire interior. So I put some birch wood instead of the oak wood just to block everything off and it's looking pretty good. This house was of an awkward size where it's a bit too small to have separate rooms but a bit too big to just feel like it can be one cohesive big room so i tried to break it up into different sections we've got our uh sort of stone working blacksmith section we've got furnaces this furnace coming up this uh blast furnace and this connects to a little chimney where we have a hopper so we can store extra items for it to go into we've got a little bench here if we flick this we have smithing table stone cutter and maybe something the guy's working on turning it into a metal sword and then over here we have the kitchen we've got a little sink another chimney for the smoker a little uh, stove here, we've got a bench, I don't know why there's an anvil there, storage cupboard, note block, we've got a little resting area by the giant painting, and I found that paintings are quite underrated when used right, because they really do make the area look really nice, and take up a bunch of the blocked off spots, we added a bit of greenery in here, we've got our relaxing area, the dining table, and up here we have our jukebox so right near the window we've got our jukebox and these can be used to store all of our favorite discs that we get then the last part of the house is i have three separate attics which don't have anything in them yet one here one on the other side and one in the middle as well there we go i also have one up here and my bed is right up here where i've got my little chest and I've got 13 diamonds in there because I went mining, got a whole lot of good armor. And then last of all, down here is our storage area in the basement. We've got an enchanting table, all this storage, which is pretty much sorted out wood, farming stuff, and, and magical items. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole house. And then I built this little farming area out the back because this can be the little farming house. We've got our wheat farm to feed the cows and sheep, some melons, some sugarcane. It goes to our tree farm. If we walk along this path though, we can go all the way to the village. Don't know how another sheep got in there. But that is about it for our giant starter house. And I've got an pretty much all geared up so in the next episode we'll use our villager breeder that i worked on in between clips as well which is down here i've been slowly building it up the whole episode and i just got the villagers in from the village down there with this minecart rail 
that goes all the way down and I've already got two little baby villagers here that if you press this lever they automatically get, up, get sent out to this minecart over here. So in the next episode we'll use those guys to get some pretty decent armor. We might even build a villager trading hall or a temporary one for now but that will have to do it so thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!